Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture today. Now, let us learn a new topic today that is called as mastitis of infants. Okay, so mastitis of infants. Uh, the mastitis of infants it is more common uh, it, it is more common in both males and females this mastitis of infants it is seen in third or fourth day of life okay if the breast of the infant which is there so the breast so the breast of the infant okay so the breast of the infant if you just press it lightly then you see that there is colorless fluid which is accumulated out which is expressed out colorless this is colorless fluid once if you just press it you will see that the colorless fluid accumulated out so this colorless fluid which is there after a few days you will see that milky secretions are seen after a few days you will see milky secretions and if you see by third week all the secretions will disappear okay this milk which is secreted in the infant that this is called as witch's milk okay it is also seen in full term infants now why is there this witch's milk or mastitis of infant what is the reason for this mastitis normally when in the infants whenever after birth the normally before birth if you see there is maternal ma estrogen which is entering into the infants but after birth there is decreased maternal estrogen so because of decreased maternal estrogen this will activate prolactin this prolactin will activate the fetal breast and the fetal breast what does it do it produces milk now so this is the reason for mastitis of infants there is also a true mastitis this is mostly physiological right so all this which we have seen this is physiological there is some one more thing which is called as true mastitis which is not physiological which is pathological and it is caused by staph aureus but the main thing is it is very uncommon okay so this is about the mastitis of infants in our next class we will learn about diffuse atrophy so thank you guys for watching my lecture thank you